it's just really gotten worse. And now I'm needing oxygen all the time, um, and I just can't seem to get rid of it. I've been on IV antibiotics for now four weeks, and I just feel as sick as when it started. I had heard about um, phage therapy before, but very high level. Not, I didn't really know much about it at all. And so I did some research and I thought that I needed to try this. Chemical antibiotics are, are their own arsenal, and they're, they're very different in that they get into a cell and then they disrupt some function, right? And whether it's chopping up the DNA or stopping proteins from being made or whatever, um, that's how they've worked. And phages kill in a completely different way. They basically stick onto the outside of the bacteria, inject their DNA, replicate themselves, make more particles, and then they burst open the bacteria. So they're two completely different, but not incompatible ways to kill um, bacteria. So you could use phages with antibiotics. Basically, I made a lawn of her uh, bacteria. So I grew it up, made a lawn of it um, after isolating it from the sputum. And then I spot So phages are very specific to the host they can kill, the bacteria they can kill, right? So oftentimes it's just one species of bacteria and even a few strains within one species of bacteria, which has been you know, good and bad in the development of phages, right? So it's been really bad, I guess, because you, know, you have to know a little bit about the bacteria causing the infection in order to kill it um, with a certain phage, right? So historically, phage sensitivity testing has not been done um, in parallel with chemical antibiotic sensitivity. But now we're at the point where we could do them simultaneously. And so we could just, if we considered phages as a separate drug, we could just test their sensitivity at the same time we test chemical antibiotics, right? Something that's really good about phages is their sensitivity also, right? And that if, you, if you're you know, drinking phages for whatever intestinal infection or something, they're not going to disrupt the entire microbiome. We're not like burning the, the whole population. We're just finding the bad ones, ideally, and, and killing those. So a bacteriophage can be found anywhere that bacteria are found, right? So especially for human infections, we need human-associated bacteria. And the best places are often really dirty places because we're dirty animals. And so like the sewage is, is great. If you look at the projections over the next several years, all indicators seem to point to the fact that this is going to get worse and worse for a variety of reasons, because the underlying root cause of why we have antimicrobial resistance is not being adequately addressed to the fullest, and also because the antibiotic industry of producing new candidates and new products that could replace those that are no longer usable because of resistance falls far short of what is actually needed. Okay, so you just basically can just dump it in. Right. Should be three mils. Are you excited? <laughs> <laughs> um. I really hope that it can help get my infection under control um, to a point where I 
won't need even any sort of antibiotics for maybe a couple of months stretch. Um, that would be amazing because I haven't had that in, like I said, years. <laughs>